Jared Poland, froknowsphoto.com. And I just watched a video that I want to share with you uh, by Joey L. Uh, I am kind of emotionally shaken after watching it, as well as maybe visually shaken. But he went and created something called the Guerrilla Fighters of Kurdistan, where he put himself into harm's way by traveling to Iraq and then through Syria to capture the... Uh, basically the fight, the guerrilla fight against ISIS. Now, just think of that for a second. A guy from the U.S. going out there to create a photo story with emotion and with meaning, but putting himself into harm, harm's way, you know, because there's no guarantee that you're coming home when you go and do something like that. And, and watching this thing that he put together on his own is absolutely breathtaking. It's mind-boggling. I was nervous sitting here watching it because, because of the situations that he was in, but the images and the stories that he was telling is what it's all about. And, and, and for me, it made me question, what am I doing with the work that I'm creating? Am I creating things that are on par with Joey L? Most likely not right now. And it's a kick in the butt, not just for me, but everybody out there to try and tell stories, real freaking stories, not fluff pieces that you see on the news, not TMZ, not paparazzi style photos, not chasing the dragon or chasing those really things that don't have any substance and meaning because the photo stories that, uh, and stories that have a, a real impact on the world are things that Joey just did and the things that he is doing. This was an independent thing that he put together. He self-funded it. He went out there on his own because he didn't want to put anybody else in harm's way. And he came back with this unbelievable story. Unbelievable photos, unbelievably well-written, and just uh, I sat here enthralled for the entire time. Now, I dropped Joey L a text because I wanted to see if he could get an interview for uh, going up to New York and, and talk to him about this. But unfortunately, he's heading out of the country to go do something else. But hopefully when he gets back, we'll be able to sit with him and talk to him about what he went through to capture this. But this should be a wake-up call to everybody out there. And, and I'm not saying you should go and travel to a war-torn nation to go and take photos and tell a story. I'm not saying that. But what can you do in your neighborhood? What can you do in your city, in your town to help tell a story, to make a difference with something? Not the fluff piece, not chasing celebrity, not chasing things that absolutely mean nothing compared to what is going on in the world right now. So this was a kick in the butt for me. I hope it's a kick in the butt for you. I applaud Joey L for what he did here because this is absolutely incredible. And what he came back with is absolutely incredible. So I hope this resonates with you as well because more people need to see this personal story that he created and share it and just, and just go out there and create photos yourself that have meaning, that tell stories that aren't just fluff pieces. So I'm going to leave it at that. Fantastic job, Joey. Hope you stay safe wherever you're going. Jared Poland, froknowsphoto.com. See ya.